Phase 3 trial treatment for hepatitis D started in 2025. Often you have listened about hepatitis D virus, right? Hepatitis D virus is a deadly virus like hepatitis B. It can be infected only to hepatitis B patients, not to a normal person. Because, hepatitis D or Delta virus can live and grow with the hepatitis B virus only. Hepatitis Delta virus treatment is not available properly worldwide at the moment. In U.S. and European countries, treatment option is limited. However, people living with hepatitis B and D both viruses have a higher risk of irreversible liver damage and life-threatening complications. A co-infected patient's condition can be worse. There is good news about the treatment of hepatitis D. Beer Biotechnology pushing ahead with its combination therapy in hepatitis B and D, but it's pausing further development in hepatitis B while it seeks a suitable partner. In 2024, Beer arrived at a liver disease conference with Phase 2 trials data showing that two combination regimens utilizing its drugs to Bevibert and Alepsirin were able to reduce hepatitis B surface antigens. The company planned to continue the trial to the 24-week stage in order to evaluate whether its cocktail therapy could act as a functional cure for chronic hepatitis B patients. According to the Biotech's fourth quarter earnings release, Beer Biotechnology still expects this data in the second quarter of the year. What is the future development of CHB treatment? The future advancement in CHB will be contingent on securing a worldwide development and commercialization partner outside of Greater China. Beer Biotechnology official said in the press release. This is required to make best enable further development in this area of high unmet need. The company explained. However, in 2025, GSK made a similar move ending work on one potential functional cure for hepatitis B as it prioritized another in the form of Beperoversin. Beer Biotechnology will be steaming ahead with plans to launch a Phase 3 trial of the beviberta lepsirin combo for the treatment of hepatitis D in the first half of 2025. Early efficacy results from a Phase II trial last summer suggested the treatment may pose a threat to Gilead Science's stuttering attempt to capture the hepatitis D market. No hepatitis D treatments are yet approved in the U.S., where Gilead's bulivertide was deleted away by the FDA in 2022. Gilead has since submitted a filing intended to fix the manufacturing and delivery concerns raised in the agency's complete response letter, whereas Bulivertide is already available in Europe. The main motto of the Phase 3 trial Beer Biotechnology also has two solid tumor-focused dual-masked T-cell engager programs in Phase 1 trials. The third trial will be started this year around June 2025. In Phase 2 trail, called Solstice Study as NCTO 5461170 show the treatment combo suppressed the hepatitis Delta virus known as HDV or hepatitis D. The result is normalized a liver damage marker in hepatitis D patients. Marianne de Backer, PhD, CEO of From Beer Biotechnology said, we are confident that our regimen has the potential to deliver transformative benefits for patients. 
We will build on our strong solstice data to start our Phase 3 registrational eclipse program as soon as possible around June 2025, he said. Again, he said, we are poised for significant advancement with the initiation of our Phase 3 registrational program in chronic hepatitis delta and further clinical progression of our dual masked T cell engagers in solid tumors. I think this is great news. Time to congratulate. Best of luck, Beer Biotechnology, for moving ahead without any delay. If you like this video, please like and share this video more and more. Please support our channel. Thanks for watching Health Wisdom. We will meet you with new update in the next video. Thanks for watching Health Wisdom.